My name is Irfan Shadad, and I'm a principal PM at Microsoft, and I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to share the latest announcements from OneDrive to make it easier to find your files, share and collaborate with your team, and always stay up to date. Let's jump into the announcements. As you can see, we have made significant improvements from making it easier to find the files that you care about and staying on top of your work to making sharing experience within OneDrive consistent and familiar across all Microsoft 365 applications. We have also enhanced our sharing permissions that enable better collaboration with your team members. We have enabled meeting and people-based views that help you find content based on who you're working with. You can now browse OneDrive from within Microsoft Teams, so you no longer have to switch context. Project Nucleus enables data availability regardless of internet access or speed, and all changes will automatically sync once internet connection is reestablished. Last but not least, we've added remote app support that allows users to open and save files to OneDrive from their remote applications. Enough of me talking about it, let's just jump into the action. OneDrive Home provides a compelling starting experience for our customers, making it easy for them to resume their work and catch up on what happened while they were away. Now, when you come to OneDrive, you'll see a list of files you've recently used. These files are sorted by when you last opened them, so you can get back to the files you were working on quickly. You can also see the most recent file activity at a glance, helping you catch up on what's happened in the files of what you're working on. If you're looking for a specific file, you can filter this list by file type. In addition to making it easier for you to catch up on your own work, we're also making it easy for you to work with others. Especially in a hybrid world of work, the ability to share files with anyone is critical to ensure people can collaborate easily and stay productive in ways that work best for them. So we are thrilled to announce a set of improvements that enhance the sharing experience across all Microsoft 365 applications. You will now see the new contextual sharing menu in your favorite Microsoft 365 apps. This new share drop-down menu includes new options that are unique per app making it more personalized for our customers and helping unlock key scenarios for successful collaboration. We want to help you get your sharing settings right from the very beginning of your sharing journey. We've made the link settings page a lot more intuitive with clearer tooltips, definitions, and quick at a glance view to show you who has existing access to your files or folders. Today, in a Word document, we provided you with enhanced collaboration capabilities that provides even more control on how collaborators can work together on a document. We've introduced a new sharing permission called Can Review inside of the permissions dropdown. With review mode, you can include collaborators to view and add suggestions to the documents in the form of comments or track changes without having to provide full edit rights to the recipients and maintaining full control of your documents. We've also made it easier to manage and search shared files. We are delighted to announce the new shared experience in OneDrive that will quickly help you get back to files shared by others. In addition, we have built views that are more contextual and human ways of remembering things through people and events like meetings. The new shared with you now shows files and folders shared across various Microsoft 365 apps so that you can find files shared with you over email, chats, and meetings all in one place. In addition, you can identify updates to your files by using the activity column as well as leverage consistent filter pills across OneDrive, Home, and Shared. Within Shared, we've also added the people's view. So if you're looking for the Word document shared by Megan, but can't recall the document name, not a problem, because now you can find it using Megan's name in the new filter using people's name. Once you see all the files shared by Megan, you can then easily filter by using the word filter. You can now also find shared files from a meeting you recently attended with the new meetings view. This includes all the meetings you have been invited to, along with all files shared across meeting attachments, meeting chat, and even meeting recordings, enabling you to stay up to date. In case you thought we we're done, there are more exciting updates to make your content even more easily accessible. Favoriting files is a great way to mark content of personal importance and can help you quickly get back to the content you're looking for. You can favorite a file by hovering over its name and clicking the star icon. Once you favorite a doc, you can access it quickly from the favorites page in the left navigation 
where you have an aggregated list of all content marked as favorite. And as your document needs to change, simply click the star again to unstar the doc, which will remove it from your favorites list. We're also delighted to bring you OneDrive directly inside Microsoft Teams. So in addition to OneDrive Web, we're also bringing these experience improvements to the Files app in Teams. This feature now ensures that regardless of which product you use and without any context switching, you're easily able to find all the files that you care about so that you can spend less time searching and more time collaborating. Next, we are excited to give you an early look into some of the things we are working on to truly elevate the everyday experience of all OneDrive users, make them faster, more productive, and happier day in and day out. Like Microsoft Lists last year, OneDrive web app and document libraries will soon be getting offline superpowers with the help of Project Nucleus. First, loading and interacting with OneDrive and large documents libraries will get a whole lot faster whether you're online or offline. You can forget about long load times or throttling regardless of the number of items in the view. Second, you'll be able to keep your files on your device so that they're always available for you when you need them. Whether you are on a plane, train, or a taxi with no internet connectivity, you can continue to stay productive and even be able to open your files in your desktop apps directly from the browser. All changes that you make to your files when offline will get synced to the cloud once you reconnect to the internet. When offline, you'll still be able to view, interact, and perform various actions with your files in OneDrive. This includes renaming files, changing file attributes, creating folders, seeing your file activity, and much more. To summarize, OneDrive and document libraries will soon be always on, lightning fast, and will blend the boundaries between the browser and your local device, and we can't wait to bring these new capabilities for you to try out. Last but not least, our customers need to access and save files to OneDrive from their remote applications. We are delighted to announce support for OneDrive from a Citrix seamless app. You can see from the system tray that I have OneDrive running locally and signed in. Now say if I open a Notepad seamless app, I notice that a second OneDrive instance from my remote session has been signed in as shown in the system tray below. I can edit the notepad file and save it to my desktop folder in my OneDrive. Since I also have my known folders syncing to OneDrive on my local desktop, I now see the file saved from my remote notepad application show up on my local desktop via OneDrive, ensuring that all my work, whether on remote or local apps, is saved to my OneDrive. In addition to what you just saw in the demos, we have a lot more exciting innovation in our pipeline. We'll provide a quick and easy way to share and collaborate with external users, as well as add sensitivity labels to your documents that help secure your data and ensure compliance with your policies and regulations. Managing access to files can become cumbersome, and so we will refresh that experience so that you have better view and control on who has access to your files. We're adding activity column in your OneDrive web My Files view, showcasing all the shares, app mentions, and comments on your files, helping you stay current with your team. We're enhancing sync support in remote apps, as well as enabling bulk data export for sync admin reports. We're also integrating Azure B2B with OneDrive and SharePoint, providing an upgraded experience for sharing files, folders, and document libraries with people outside your organization. We hope that you are as excited about these announcements as we are, and we look forward to your continued feedback.